Hey guys, what's up? It's time for another PBR battle, and I am going in with my baby team against this guy that has bum bum ba three Ubers. Yeah, I know he's got three Ubers, according to Smogon. That is, idiots over there. What were they thinking? It's just. You know, here's my thing. Okay, one, you know, I'm picking my guys, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I'll narrate the picking the guys first. I really didn't know who I wanted to go with um, for this fight because I did not know what this guy was going to bring. Be I mean, he could have brought pretty much anything and it would have spelled doom for me because that Ho-Oh would have destroyed me, the Mewtwo would have destroyed me, but thankfully he doesn't bring either of them. It's like he's either taking pity on me or he's just playing around with me. Otherwise, whatever. Uh, anyway, what I was saying before, why the heck did they make Salamence Uber? I mean, really, if they're going to go by that logic that if something is powerful enough from that you can't really runner, stop it, Scyther, then Sizor should have been from the um, runner, Uber like years ago. Anyway, uh, sent out Scyther and Nidoran because I was expecting the ho to come out. And maybe the Mewtwo as well because, you know, he's uh, Nidoran is uh, packing heat, you know, with Head Smash and Shadow Claw. So I go with Tailwind to protect, you know, the classic startup for these guys. And then, you know, protect, blah, blah, blah. They also sent out their Nidoking and their Typhlosion. So Scyther gets the Tailwind up. And this this turn kind of surprised me, just because I wasn't quite expecting it. Here, the Typhlosion goes for Flamethrower. That wasn't what uh, surprised me. But the Nidoking using Thunder did. Um, Nidoking is like one of the... I don't exactly know how many ground type Pokemon can learn Thunder, but I think it's like two or three Pokemon, like ground type Pokemon, that can actually learn Thunder. And actually, I know that a lot of people use special Nidokings. It's just I've always used physical ones. So whenever, whenever I see one, I assume it's physical. Anyway, um, I go with Reversal. I think I, I was having a lot of trouble deciding what to do because I knew that Bug Bite wasn't good against either of these Pokemon, like Nidoking or Typhlosion, and I also knew that Reversal wasn't good against uh, Nidoking, which was the one I really wanted to take out at that point in time, but neither of my guys have moves that are good for that, so I just go with a Swagger on uh, Nidoking, I think. What do I do here? I take so long to choose this. Okay, then I go for Reversal on Typhlosion because I was worried about uh, Nidoran's Head Smash missing, because if he missed, then I would be royally screwed. So I go with Head Smash. Um, probably not the best move on my part right here. Probably just because um, I could have just gone with either of my other moves and it would have been fine. But I just wanted to be absolutely sure. And even then, it was a stupid move because I could have missed. So anyway, Reversal goes off. Almost takes out the Typhlosion. And then Nidoran comes in with the Overkill Head Smash and takes it out. That was totally unnecessary, but I felt like doing it. So anyway, take just a little bit of recoil, which was good, because if I took like any more recoil than that, then I would have died from this uh, next attack from Nidoking. For some reason, he used Sludge Bomb on Nidoran. I don't know why, but he survives. Yay! My Nidoran survived a special uh, Nidoking's attack. Oh gosh, Uber user. It's an Uber. He sent out an Uber. What a noob. Ah, oh, Uber, Uber, Uber. Ah, oh, good thing I'm not from Smogon, otherwise I actually would say that. Anyway, out comes Salamence, the not Uber. And I go for a swagger on Nidoking, knowing that I need to put those attacks to a stop for a, for a little while. And then I go for a head smash on the Uber Salamence. Jeez. I'll bet this is going to be like really loud in the narration. I'm going to have to like, turn it down. <laughs> so anyway, Swagger goes off. Thankfully, it hit. I was having really good luck with Swagger um, hitting that day. I did all these battles in one day. It was a pretty, actually a pretty good day for battling. But anyway, aside from this, Head Smash just had to miss the Salamence, the Uber. And then uh, he goes for Dragon Pulse, and it hits. So, yeah. Anyway, Nidoran goes down, and then Nidoking is now confused. And he, of course, he managed to break through it and goes for a sludge bomb. So at this point, I was like, yeah, you know what, I'm pretty much screwed now. So, in this next turn, I give up. No, pff, just kidding. Um, Tailwind goes out, and it's like, oh, great, now I'm really not, now I'm really screwed. So anyway, out comes uh, Hannah Montana, the Smoochum. I can't believe I remembered that nickname. And then, uh, who is this? Oh, the, rat the Ratatata's Ratatouille. I forgot. 
never saw that movie actually. I don't know if it was any good. Um, so out comes uh, Ratatata and Smoochum, and then Four Wonder ordered it to Thunder because I needed to know that he had it again. So I go for an ice beam on the Salamence, the Uber, because it's obviously because obviously since it's an Uber, it's a bigger threat. So yeah. Anyway, uh, then I go with a protect on. Now first I go for facade. I didn't mean to go for facade. I thought that was protect. So I go back and then I go for protect on Ratatata. So yeah. Anyway, uh, let's see here. Now come on, jeez. All right, right. Tati goes for protect, and then come on, come on, go. All right, then Smoochum outspeeds an Uber, and ice beams it to death. Oh, jeez, that Uber was so hard to take down. Good lord. I mean, if I didn't have Smog on to know that he was an Uber, I never would have come prepared for that. Jeez, I mean, I would have never survived. Oh, good lord, freaking Smog on idiots. But seriously, if you guys follow Smogon, I'm just letting you know. Oh, by the way, since Tyranitar uh, Sandstorm comes up, if you follow Smogon, just know that the tiers in Smogon are only. Um, they only use those tiers for their stupid little shoddy battle thing. That's the only. Um, that's the only place where those tiers really apply, is that little stupid shoddy tier battle thingy on their website. So, their tiers don't apply to anything else. People just take it as, you know, everything else. So anyway, I go with an I I go with a psychic on Nidoking and then I go for a facade on Tyranitar. Now, I'm proud of my Ratatata here. I can honestly say that I'm proud of my Ratatata. Check this out, okay? Ratatata facade. Check how much it does to a Tyranitar. It's not much, but a facade from a Ratatata, that's like one of the weakest things ever. I'm proud of my Ratatata for doing that much damage. I'm proud of you, even though you barely scratched him. <laughs> All right. Anyway, uh, okay. Now this is just pitiful. Look at this. Okay, Tyranitar, Tyranitar, Dragon Claw, Ratatata. I live. Jeez, that is pathetic. I survived a Dragon Claw from a Tyranitar with a Ratatata. I mean, I died from the Sandstorm, and I would have died from my burn, but still. That's pretty sad. You gotta have a pretty crappy Tyranitar for that. So anyway, I, at this point, I was like, okay, this battle was just way too epic for me to not upload it. So, it's like, regardless of whether or not I lose, I'm gonna freaking upload this. Because this is, like, the best match I've ever had with these babies. And this is, like, very fitting for one of the final matches. And then that happened! At that point, when I saw those freeze hacks, like, before, when I was, when I used Ice Beam, I was, I was praying, oh, please give me freeze hacks, please give me freeze hacks, and when I got freeze hacks, I'm not, now, before I say this, know that I am not exaggerating in the slightest, this is 100% truth, when I got those freeze hacks, and when I was, like, in these next few turns, I was literally squealing, I was squealing at this point in the fight. I do not, I'm not even kidding. I'm not exaggerating in the slightest. I was squealing when the, um, when the freeze hacks kept on going. I was squealing. I was like so excited because I was like, dude, holy crap, I might actually have a chance at this because um, if there was no sandstorm, I would have had a much better chance even though like even aside from the freeze hacks because uh, Smoochum has a focus sash. But of course with the sandstorm, uh, focus sash got broken. So anyway, ice beam goes off, takes off just a little more chunk of it, and then I was like, yes, 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 yes. I was so psyched when that last turn of freeze hacks happened because that means that I win because my Smoochum is somehow faster than the Tyranitar. That's what you, that's what you gotta do. If you ever get a Smoochum, or um, a Jinx, you gotta train it for speed because its special attack is just through the roof. So anyway, <laughs> that wise, that lightest ice beam goes off and takes out the Tyranitar after three incredibly lucky turns of freeze hacks. That was freaking amazing. That was like the best battle I had with the babies, like ever. So anyway, I win, and this guy was very commendable. At the end of three turns of freeze hacks, all that luck hacks on him, he still gave me a friend pass, which is awesome. That guy, I salute you if you're watching this. So anyway, see you later.